Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel Gabbetic and welcome to today's video. Today is another video of me and my pump and today what we're going to be talking is about my insulin to carb ratios or my insulin ratios because I have gotten some questions on this about the pump in the past and I think now would be a good time to talk about it because I think now I need to actually tweak them a bit. I've been on the pump for about five months now since April really and when I started on the pump we pre-programmed in the insulin to carb ratios but now I think it's time to adjust them a bit because things I've gotten used to the pump and things have kind of changed a bit so I'm going to be talking all about insulin to carb ratios or insulin ratios in this video hope you enjoy if you do please give it a big thumbs up comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel so first of all I'm going to start off with what is carb ratio or insulin to carb ratio I've had a little look at the book like I always do and it gives a really good definition so it says carb ratio is the amount of carbs covered by one unit of insulin so this applies to both MDI and pumps when I was MDI I had a very simple insulin to carbs ratio mine was basically one unit of insulin was for every 10 grams of carbs so that meant if I ate 20 grams of carbs, I would only need two units of insulin. I don't know why mine was so simple. I feel like now being on a pump, I feel like when you're on MDI, they just kind of generalize it a bit. Like they just kind of make it either one is to 10 or one is to 15 because maybe because the pens are only in units or half units, that could be why. And you kind of estimate to the nearest one. But I feel like when I was on MDI, it was just always 1 is to 10. There was no really looking into it very much. So now that I'm on a pump, I feel like I have much closer look at my insulin to carb ratios and they fit me better. So basically on the pump, you have this bolus wizard setup, which we'll go into in a minute. And you can go in there and change your insulin to carb ratios. When I did the training, if you watched those videos, you would have seen that these were set up in my insulin pump training for me and how we kind of decided upon then was we looked at my blood sugars over a week and we kind of fine-tuned from there so and I kind of knew some of them I knew that I'm very sensitive to insulin in the morning so sometimes I used to go low after breakfast because I'd be very sensitive whereas in contrast in the nighttime I was very resistant to insulin so I would need I would always go high especially after food and I go high at night, but that's a different story. So I kind of knew those things. So basically in order to set up the insulin to carb ratios, what we did was monitored the blood sugar before I started on the insulin pump and looked for patterns. And that's kind of how we had a basis for my insulin to carb ratio. So that's kind of what I'd recommend if you're the first time trying to figure out your ratios. Everyone's is different and it's very hard to figure them out. And they also change like the way mine is definitely changing now because I'm having some issues. Which I'll go into in a second so that's why I'm looking at my insulin to carb ratios now for the first time because they just don't suit me anymore as much as they did about six months ago so yeah everyone has insulin to carb ratios it takes a while to figure them out it might take you some time what I recommend is looking at all of your blood sugars writing them out see where you go high see where you go low and then you'll kind of get the idea and that's kind of what I've done this week as well to get ready for this video and also I should note that when you use SmartGuard on the Medtronic 780G, there's only three things you can change. Your blood glucose target, your active insulin time, and your insulin to carb ratio. I'll go into the other two in a different video if people want me to go into those um, about changing them and setting them up on the Medtronic. But today we're just talking about insulin to carb ratio. So like I said, I have blocks of time with different insulin to carb ratios. Let's go ahead and have a little look at them on the pump now to show you where I'm at. So to have a look at our carb ratios, we go to settings, delivery settings, and then we go into the bolus wizard setup and we have our carb ratios. As you can see, I have the ability to edit. I'm not going to edit. I'm just going to talk you through what I have first. So from midnight to 7 a.m., one unit of insulin works on 10 grams of carbs. Then I change 7 a.m. to 11. I'm really insulin sensitive. So one unit works on 12 grams of carbs. So you can see that it's taken a higher amount of carbs there. Then we move on to 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. and back to one is to 10. That's probably the one that we're gonna have to change. Three to 8 p.m. again, I'm very insulin sensitive as well. So I'm one unit of insulin is to 14 grams of carbs. And from 8 p.m. to midnight, one unit of insulin works on nine grams of carbs. So you can see I have these blocks set up. You can go in and you can edit different time blocks if you want to as well. These are the ones that I set up in the training. Oh, I'm actually going low. So we'll pause that thought. 
my god i'm going really low anyway <laughs> gonna go and fix that now in a second but go back into here to show you again so the bolus wizard setup carb ratio there's the active insulin time which is the other thing as well so remember the things that we can change in smart guard are insulin to carb ratio active insulin time and blood glucose target we can't change the sensitivity factor in smart guard we can only do that in manual mode so carb ratio there my blocks again the one i'm thinking of changing is 11 to 3 so that's my bolus wizard setup and that's how all of my insulin to carb ratios look some of them are still fine but some of them definitely need change and particularly the post lunchtime one i've been writing all my blood sugars for the week in this because i just think it's easier if i write them down i could go on the care link profile which is like the medtronic graphs and report and i did have a little look on there as well yesterday just to kind of confirm that i was right and there's no exact reason why i have different insulin to carb ratios i just find that at different times of day i'm more or less sensitive to insulin like at night time definitely more resistant to insulin so i need more insulin when i'm eating the food and in the morning i'm very sensitive to the insulin maybe because i'm up and i'm walking around i'm more active i'm in work and i need less insulin it's just the diabetes thing you'll just have to figure it out yourself but yeah so what i've been noticing is basically every time after my lunch which i usually have lunch around half 12 1 i'm always going high after so you saw there my lunchtime ratios which are kind of two blocks of time 11 to 3 and then 3 to 8 so you can see in the 3 to 8 i think that one's probably fine because I think I am having like my dinner more in that time. So I think that's probably fine being at the 14 because I do kind of go low. I think it's that block of time from half 12 to about 3 p.m. that I want to change. So I'm going to write this down. So yeah, I had a little check. So my 11 to 3 p.m. is one unit of insulin for every 10 grams of carbs. And I just don't think that's working anymore. I think like I'm always going high in the last two weeks. And like high enough, like 13 or 14. And I just don't think that's working. So I don't exactly know how much you're supposed to change like your ratio by like if I changed it dramatically from like one is to ten to one is to five maybe that's too much so my plan is today's Sunday the diabetes clinic in Ireland you can only ring on Mondays Mondays is the diabetes clinic day so I'm going to make a plan and I'm going to ring tomorrow with what I suggest and I will confirm that in the video tomorrow too so We'll just do that, but we'll go through the plan. So the plan is to change one, well, I think from one is to 10 to one is to nine possibly. And I think even that small change could work. And I'm gonna just confirm with the nurses if that's a good idea. And the other block of time that I do think I might have an issue with is post breakfast, because I've looked at my graph and after breakfast, I'm getting a lot of auto corrections. And I'm not sure though if I should change two blocks of time at the same time. Now, like you're probably watching this if you know insulin pumps a long time thinking, yeah, you definitely can. But I'm so new to this as well that changing insulin to carb ratios for me is kind of a new thing. So my thoughts are we'll change the lunchtime from one is to 10 to one is to nine. So that means every one unit of insulin will work on nine grams of carbs instead of 10 grams of carbs. So then I'll be taking more insulin at lunchtime and we'll see what they say about breakfast. Like I'm not going that high after breakfast. I'm going to maybe nine or 10, but I'm still getting an auto correction or two. So maybe I could fine tune that. So I hope that explains insulin to carb ratios. So basically you have blocks of time on the pump where you have insulin to carb ratios and that can vary from person to person. And it's just kind of trial and error to figure it out. They were my blocks of time on the insulin to carb ratio there. And I think I just need to change them a little bit. After six months, I'm kind of fine tuning things. And I just think I could be a little bit better time and range and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that this will help. I'll put in a little clip at the end to confirm what the nurses said for tomorrow. But I hope you enjoyed the video so far. And if you did, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And we'll chat tomorrow about what the nurses said. Hello everyone, so it is the next day and I'll just do a really, really quick catch up. So I did get through to the nurse this morning. Uh, sorry, there's work going on outside. So I was right in thinking about the lunchtime ratio. So we're going to go from one unit of insulin to 10 grams of carbs to one unit of insulin to nine grams of carbs. I'm going to show you that now on the pump. 
and the other thing I'm going to change, which I'm not really talking about in this video, is the active insulin time, changing it from three hours to two hours. So yeah, let's go ahead and change our insulin to carb ratios and then we will be perfectly set up on the pump and we'll hope that the new ratios suit me better. So we have the pump, we go into our delivery settings, we go into the bolus wizard, we go into the carb ratio like we did before and then we edit the block so we didn't do this before so the one i'm editing is this one and the times are fine so i'm gonna just change that now she said you can usually change by half a unit or full unit and she said go for the full unit in this case so that's all fine so changes are saved let's have a look at our blocks now okay yeah we can see there the 11 change now and perfect so we will save that there and that's our carb ratio chain so that's all done now thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video